What's up Haas? Welcome back to another video and up to this point we saw that Excel is really good at working with numbers, has a bunch of cool built-in functions, can crunch them really quick, but did you know that Excel is also really stinking good at working with strings too. Now by string I don't mean like the string you climb with, I mean a string as in a bit of text like a word or a sentence of course uh, those are called strings in computer programming and also Excel so let's go ahead and make a couple right now so for this example I'm just gonna write my name Bucky twice make any two strings right there because the first it's not even really a function just a little cool test that you can do is if you ever want to check if two cells are identical then what you can do is you can hit equals and then give the names of your two cells so a1 equals again b1 and right here what you're pretty much doing is you're asking Excel a question you're asking is a1 the same as b1 are the contents the same hit enter and it says true if they are and false if they're not so for example if this was named um, ham and hit enter that would be false now one little thing you have to watch out for is this test it's not case sensitive so if you ever have something like Bucky in proper formatting and also Bucky all in uppercase letters like here even though they're not exactly the same it's still gonna give you true because like I said this equal sign test to see if two cells are identical it's not case sensitive so now you probably have the question okay well what if I come across a scenario where I actually do want to check if it's um, case sensitive kind of like um, you would be expecting at first. Well what you can do is you can use the function exact and as you can see the little details checks whether two strings are exactly the same is case sensitive. So exact let's go ahead and throw this in again a1 separate your parameters with a comma b1 and hit enter of course this one's gonna give you false because they are not the same the other stuff's capitalized. So that is pretty sweet. So now let me, um, let me make two more examples. All right, so for the next function I want to tell you about, write pudding in A2 and hammock in C2, or excuse me, B2. Did I say B2 twice? A2, B2, C2, D2. Kind of like a rap song or something. A to B to C to D to. Uh, uh, uh. Check it out now. A to B. Okay. Getting kind of uh, sidetracked there. But check this out. Anytime you want to join cells together, then all you have to do is hit equals. And then just like before, click the name of the cell you want to reference. But instead of the equal sign, combine them with the ampersand. It's a little symbol above the 7 on your keyboard. Now, what you're saying is okay the value or the data that I want you to put in cell C2 is A2 combined with B2. Hit enter and check it out. Pudding hammock. Alright so maybe that's what we were going for but say that this was someone's name. His name was Pudding Hammock. Well obviously that's not how you want to write his name. You want to have a little space in the middle so how would you accomplish that? Well this ampersand sign is really just for combining things so what we're saying is we're gonna combine this and this of course we didn't add a space anywhere so if we ever wanna combine a space as well then here's how we accomplish that add two little quotation marks with the space in the middle and add an ampersand after that so now what this is saying is take pudding combine it with a space in the middle and then combine it with hammock now you can actually do this for, um, I don't know, if you had like 10 different words, then you can combine them all and it will work the same. Pretty sweet. So, actually, how much time do we have? Well, if I have time to tell you about a few other things. So, let me do something like this. Mm, hold on. Had a piece of skin hanging off my nail and, uh, alright, had to bite that off. Sounds kind of gross when I talk, like, biting bit of my finger off and now I'm just rambling on okay so say that you um like you had an address so my address is 45 um hand blaster lane and I'm not making that up that is my real address now the city I live in is um 
Pumpkin, Virginia. And that, actually that is a lie, I will admit that. So now we want to have a new cell right here, and we want to format the address. So what we're going to do is put, okay, um, this is A4, so let me just put, okay, A4, and then what was that combined thing? It was right there, and uh, combine it with this, and I'll just hit enter, and okay. Well, that's not what I wanted, so let me go ahead in my formula bar, and obviously what I want is I just don't want everything on one line. I want it kind of like it's displayed up here where the street name is on the top line and then the city name is on the bottom. So I know what we have to do. Just go up here and in the middle, like a text editor, hit enter. Oh crap, you know what? Enter and Excel does something else. It actually submits it. So what we need is a special character that equals a line break. So in order to accomplish this, the special character that we need to throw in there is char and inside here put 10 now anytime you have a weird character that probably isn't on your keyboard like I don't know some weird symbols and um like maybe like a lot of weird symbols for currency and stuff like that are kinda weird but you need to use them sometimes they're in this character set now this 10 is a special parameter that we pass in and it means line break you're not supposed to memorize all this there's like a table if you want to go check it out see what all the cool symbols mean but basically we're saying is take whatever contents are in A4 add a line break to it which means pretty much the equivalent of enter and then add your other one now I just told you guys that but look at this now okay well that didn't work Bucky you're an idiot this is the worst tutorial up tutorial ever now the reason it isn't displaying properly is because the way that this cell is formatted it doesn't support line breaks so even though there is technically a line break in there we still need to actually might as well just go ahead and okay let's just go ahead and format the cell let me show it so you guys can see and of course check this out it's not wrapping text in other words it's making all your data on one line so once we check that and hit okay boom check it out the line breaks occur wherever you have this character right there char 10 so that ladies and gentlemen is how you properly format um, something like an address using special character for line breaks yada yada tomato tomato and uh well <coughs> oh, oh my I I'm embarrassed so um, I'm gonna stop the video probably go cry and uh, well I'll see you guys next time